Chapter 2. The Sheep and the Goats. Prophecies pertain to both saint and sinner. They give promises to the righteous and warnings to the wicked. For this reason, God sends prophets among the nations of the world, for he loves all of his children, and takes precautions to warn them of evil and dangers, and also to instruct them in righteousness. Since wickedness is generally the reason for catastrophe, it is necessary to understand the evil that would exist in the latter days. The greatest prophecies that Jesus made pertain to the latter days. He compared the great flood and the abomination of desolation, as described by the prophet Daniel, as being similar in severity to the destructions in the latter days. There would be terrible weeping, wailing and gnashing of teeth among the wicked. The prophecies of the latter days show that the various destructions will bring about a great separation between the righteous and the wicked, between the sheep and the goats as recorded in Matthew. When the Son of Man shall come in his glory, and all the holy angels with him, then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory. And before him shall be gathered all nations. And he shall separate them one from another, as a shepherd divideth his sheep from the goats. And he shall set the sheep on his right hand, but the goats on the left. Then shall the king say unto them on his right hand, Come, ye blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. Then shall he say also unto them on the left hand, Depart from me, ye cursed, into everlasting fire, prepared for the devil and his angels. Mad. 25 31 to 34, 41. But let's consider some prophecies of warnings and separations that will occur even before the time mentioned in Matthew. New Testament. For her, Babylon's, sins have reached unto heaven, and God hath remembered her iniquities. Reward her even as she rewarded you, and double unto her double according to her works. In the cup which she hath filled, fill to her double. How much she hath glorified herself, and lived deliciously, so much torment and sorrow give her. For she saith in her heart, I sit a queen, and am no widow, and shall see no sorrow. Therefore shall her plagues come in one day, death, and mourning, and famine, and she shall be utterly burned with fire, for strong is the Lord God who judgeth her. And in her was found the blood of prophets, and of saints, and of all that were slain upon the earth. Rev. 18 5 day, 24. Book of Mormon. For the time soon cometh that the fullness of the wrath of God shall be poured out upon all the children of men, for he will not suffer that the wicked shall destroy the righteous. Wherefore, he will preserve the righteous by his power, even if it so be that the fullness of his wrath must come, and the righteous be preserved, even unto the destruction of their enemies by fire. Wherefore, the righteous need not fear, for thus saith the prophet, they shall be saved, even if it so be as by fire. 1 Nephi 22 16 17. For the time speedily cometh that the Lord God shall cause a great division among the people, and the wicked will he destroy, and he will spare his people, yea, even if it so be that he must destroy the wicked by fire. 2 Nephi 30:10. And thus commandeth the Father that I should say unto you. At that day when the Gentiles shall sin against my gospel, and shall be lifted up in the pride of their hearts above all nations, and above all the people of the whole earth, and shall be filled with all manner of lyings, and of deceits, and of mischiefs, and all manner of hypocrisy, and murders, and priestcrafts, and whoredoms, and of secret abominations, and if they shall do all those things, and shall reject the fullness of my gospel, behold, saith the Father, I will bring the fullness of my gospel from among them. 3 Nephi 16.10 and my people who are a remnant of Jacob, shall be among the Gentiles, yea, in the midst of them as a lion among the beasts of the forest, as a young lion among the flocks of sheep, who, if he go through both treadeth down and teareth in pieces, and none can deliver. Their hands shall be lifted up upon their adversaries, and all their enemies shall be cut off. Yea, woe be unto the Gentiles except they repent, for it shall come to pass in that day, saith the Father, that I will cut off thy horses out of the midst of thee, and I will destroy thy chariots and I will cut off the cities of thy land, and throw all thy strongholds, and I will cut off witchcrafts out of thy land, and thou shalt have no more soothsayers, thy graven images I will also cut off, and thy standing images out of the midst of thee, and thou shalt no more worship the works of thy hands, and I will pluck up thy groves out of the midst of thee, so will I destroy thy cities. And I will execute vengeance and fury upon them, even as upon the heathen, such as they have not heard. 3. Nephi 21 12 18, 21. Wherefore, O ye Gentiles, it is wisdom in God that these things should be shown unto you, that thereby ye may repent of your sins, and suffer not that these murderous combinations shall get above you, which are built up to get power and gain in the work, yea, even the work of destruction come upon you, yea, even the sword of the justice of the eternal God shall fall upon you. To your overthrow and destruction if ye shall suffer these things to be. Ether 8.23. Doctrine and Covenants. For the hour is nigh and the day soon at hand when the earth is ripe, and all the proud and they that do wickedly shall be as stubble, and I will burn them up, saith the Lord of hosts, that wickedness shall not be upon the earth. Sec. 29 9. I have sworn in my wrath, and decreed wars upon the face of the earth, and the wicked shall slay the wicked, and fear shall come upon every man. And the saints shall hardly escape, nevertheless, I, the Lord, am with them, and will come down in heaven from the presence of my Father, and consume the wicked with unquenchable fire. Sec. 63 33-34. I, the Almighty, have laid my hands upon the nations, to scourge them for their wickedness. 
and plague shall go forth, and they shall not be taken from the earth until I have completed my work, which shall be cut short in righteousness. Until all shall know me, who remain, even from the least unto the greatest, and shall be filled with the knowledge of the Lord, and shall see eye to eye, and shall lift up their voice, and with the voice together sing this new song. Sec. 84 96-98. Pearl of Great Price. And Enoch beheld the Son of Man ascend up unto the Father, and he called unto the Lord, saying, Wilt thou not come again upon the earth? Forasmuch as thou art God, and I know thee, and thou hast sworn unto me, and commanded me that I should ask in the name of thine only begotten, thou hast made me, and given unto me a right to thy throne, and not of myself, but through thine own grace, wherefore, I ask thee if thou wilt not come again on the earth. And the Lord said unto Enoch, As I live, even so will I come in the last days, in the days of wickedness and vengeance, to fulfill the oath which I have made unto you concerning the children of Noah. And the day shall come that the earth shall rest, but before that day the heavens shall be darkened, and a veil of darkness shall cover the earth, and the heavens shall shake, and also the earth, and great tribulation shall be among the children of men, but my people will I preserve. And it came to pass that Enoch saw the day of the coming of the Son of Man, in the last days, to dwell on the earth in righteousness for the space of a thousand years. But before that day he saw great tribulations among the wicked, and he also saw the sea, that it was troubled, and men's hearts failing them, looking forth with fear for the judgments of the Almighty God, which should come upon the wicked. And the Lord showed Enoch all things, even unto the end of the world, and he saw the day of the righteous, the hour of their redemption, and received the fullness of joy. Moses 759-61, 65-67. Joseph Smith by prophecy, in the name of the Lord God of Israel, anguish and wrath and tribulation, and the withdrawing of the Spirit of God from the earth await this generation, until they are visited with utter desolation. This generation is as corrupt as the generation of the Jews that crucified Christ, and if he were here today, and should preach the same doctrine he did then, they would put him to death. D.H.C. 658. Brigham Young. Whether the world is going to be burned up within a year, or within a thousand years, does not matter grow to you and me. We have the words of eternal life, we have the privilege of obtaining glory, immortality, and eternal lives, now will you obtain these blessings. J.D. 453. If we live, we shall see the nations of the earth arrayed against this people, for that time must come, in fulfillment of prophecy. Tell about war commencing. Bitter and relentless war waged against Joseph Smith before he had received the plates of the Book of Mormon, and from that time till now the wicked have only fallen back at times to gain strength and learn how to attack the kingdom of God. J.D. 5339. Then, do not be too anxious for the Lord to hasten his work. Let our anxiety be centered upon one thing, the sanctification of our own hearts, the purifying of our own affections, the preparing of ourselves for the approach of the events that are hastening upon us. This should be our concern, this should be our study, this should be our daily prayer, and not to be in a hurry to see the overthrow of the wicked. J.D. 9.3. Jedediah M. Grant. It does not matter how much they deal in compromise measures, or how often they try to adjust difficulties that thicken around them, it is a stern fact that the people of the United States have shed the blood of the prophets, driven out the saints of God, rejected the priesthood, and set it not the holy gospel, and the result of rejecting the gospel has been, in every age. A visitation from the chastening hand of the Almighty which chastisement will be administered in proportion to the magnitude and enormity of their crimes. Consequently I look for the Lord to use his whip on the refractory son called Uncle Sam, I expect to see him chastised among the first of the nations. I think Uncle Sam is one of the Lord's boys that he will take the rod to first, and make him dance nimbly to his own tune of O. O. For his transgressions, for his high-mindedness and loftiness, for his evil, for rejecting the gospel, and causing the earth to drink the blood of the saints for this, I say, I expect he will be well switched among the first of the sons. J.D. 2 148.